Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in, church. So excited to be across the globe. Come on, church. We are around the world connecting to the north, the south, the east, and the west. Amen. Here through the word of God. Amen. Just excited to be in God's presence as well. Amen. Hallelujah. We've got so many aspects that are coming in. Come on in, church. Love it on Jesus here today. God has blessed us. No. telling you we are excited to be here in the presence of the Lord excited to see what God has in store for us amen he's just bringing in he's pouring in we're rejoicing and the worshiping and the glorifying the name of our God amen who is our Savior come on church He's the lover of our soul. Hallelujah. And when you know me, come on. He's the giver of our hearts. You know, I'm so excited here today, giving Jesus Christ all the honor and glory and all the praise once again. You know, even just through, you know, even in our dreams, God's just going to show you how he's pouring down his life on you. And so many aspects in so many ways, you know. He just woke in me, showing me, you know what? I got a blessing for you. The blessings are just going to come in. I'm telling you, you can be to the north, the south, the east, and the west. It doesn't matter. Like, you're going to collect. Come on now. And he's going to make a way for you, even when there doesn't seem to be a way. God knows effectively how to make the way for you you know why church because God is God like that God loves you like that he knows how to endow you with the love of his life that truly that God has poured his life in you and it doesn't matter how God is going to reach you but know in a matter of fact that it can be through a dream it can be through so many other aspects because I'm telling you, when he touches you, he ministers to you, he lifts you up, he sets you upon a rock, he shows you the way in, he shows you the way out, he knows how to develop you in your life to grow you, to mature you, to walk with you, to talk with you, to level you up, to increase you, church, in so many ways. And God is saying, can you trust me? Can you trust me? You know, as I was devouring the word and going in, he says, you know what? I want you to go in into the book of John. I want you to read. And I thought, okay, well, I know John chapter 360, <laughs> you know, Jesus coming to give forth that life. But when I was reading on that, it was just like, no, I want you to soak this in. I want you to soak this in. I want you to soak this in. Read upon the chapter. Read upon the precept. Read it. Read it. Receive it. Because it's deep. The well is deep. And God has some deep things 
to minister unto your life. And I'm here to share with you. I mean, I got word of scripture. I got the back up. Come on now. Of the word of God, even as we have come in upon our speaker fam, our global worldwide radio. And I'm telling you, I want to come in and do some Spanish. Because sometimes just that Spanish in itself, I'm telling you, I feel like it just takes me up to another level. So watch out, gente Latina, amen, that we're coming on in. God bless you. Thank you for coming on in here today, amen. And I'm just sharing with you, this is just on how God connects us, how he wants to reveal his life in you and through you and for you to upgrade you. I'm telling you, we're in another level. And I don't want to say what that can bring. Come on, church. Because taking you into another level is going to access you into a whole nother realm that maybe that you were not invited to. Thank you, Jesus, on that. But maybe so. And maybe it's to reveal more of what God's placed inside of you. Because he's got much. You have much. Because the greater is he that lives in you is much. There's nothing small about God. There's nothing little about God. Even though he can see the little things that are little for you. That he can take care of the big, big, huge things. As well as even the smallest little things. Because even just one hair. I mean that I literally you know. Picked off of my shirt. Just that one hair. He knows even that one. Small hair. He knows what's going on. In your life. He already foresee it. He already foreknew it. He knew it was going to walk in. He knew what was, who was going to walk out. Come on now. And it's the journal of our life. It's the journal of our vision. You know, I was so surprised that, you know, someone said, oh, wow, look at that. You know, I didn't even know that you had that. Yeah, I do. And there's just so many things how we have connected globally and where the Lord is, he, he's just literally knocking, 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 knocking. Can I come in today? Can I love on you today? Can I show you what I can do for you? And it's not, oh, that he's upon the demand. Or I'm going to do this because God is God like that. And he can do this for me. Of course, you know, it's not like at the beck and call. But what about our prayers? What about our time in the Lord? What about the blessings that he wants to give us? Can we believe in the encore? Can we believe in the blessedness? Can we believe that what he said, that he's faithful? He wants to finish this out. He wants to complete in us and through us and for us. Because we know that all the blessings that we get, it's not just supposed to settle in one little place. We know that we are a channel of blessing. And I believe that's what's taken me to this word even here today. Because when I read it, I said, Lord, how many times have I read it? He's like, well, read it again. Read it again. Oh, you say you don't have the word. I have that word for you. I've already given you the word. And I'm thinking, okay, but I want more. <laughs> I want more. I want to drink like the lady of the well, the one when when she's just like, you know what? I don't want to have to be coming to this well and 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 to get this earthly drink. I want that spring of well just springing up within my heart, within my life. And I'm telling you, that's access of getting into the Word of God. Literally, the last cast on Tuesday was talking about the basics of being in the Word of God. And the Lord says, you're going to get back on the track. Because even though you're receiving all this Word for yourself, I have a mandate 
to give out this very word. And it's not the Tina's gospel. Come on now. This is the gospel of love. This is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If I could just bring one word of encouragement to your life. The one that will lift you up. The one that will carry you over. The one that you can bear that witness of the cross. And I love you. You may feel like, well, I'm high and dry. No, you're not in the high and dry. I love you. You may feel like I'm way off on the north side. You know what? I love you. You may feel like you're way out in the west side. You know what? I still love you. I'm telling you, there's so many ways for God's word to go in there, to demolish, to create, to procreate, to endure, to love, increase, to hug. You know, and it's awesome. Because one of the words of scripture that was blessing me was out of the book of Isaiah 54, where he's saying, enlarge the place of your tent. I want you to stretch out your tents. I want your curtains to be wide and don't hold back. See, wait, we can't hold back what God has showed us, what our mandate is and what he's already shown already. As a, ma as a matter of fact, right here, I wrote down this words of encouragement about me being talented about me being valued about me being taken about me being strong about me going into the next and i'm telling you every day is a practice of his word in which he's given unto us you know, I practice in and to the praise and to the worship and get into, you know, literally not just be moved in, in, in the music realm, but literally receiving the lyrics and grabbing a hold of what the words are saying, not just listening to the music, but literally understanding and singing and praising and worshiping God in truth. I'm telling you, it's not just being a Christian. And the Christian is, you know, where would I be without Christ? Because I am. The greater I am, the Christian. Christ is in the center. But I'm telling you, when I was reading and reading more and more even there out of the book of John because here it says that don't hold back lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes but when I was reading here out of the book of John and he's showing a continuity of the deeds that God had worked upon here upon the earth that it wasn't just being a Christian but being a believer a believer do you believe it's not just quote unquote oh I'm a Christian but are we believers in the house when we've cried out to God, when we've expressed those things out of our hearts, and we prayed, are we believing that we've received? Are we believers? Because it can look like it, maybe it can sound like it, maybe it can act like it, but are we believing? Because when God acts upon the prayers that we've prayed, we're like, wow, is that true? Is that really true? God is true upon the matter. God sees. God knows. He's unveiling. And He's going to continually to 